Welcome back aliens. In this video, we'll try to understand what is builder pattern. So let me write it as builder pattern. So there's one of the creational pattern in design patterns in Java, uh, in which you, it will be helpful for you to create an object here. So wh why we require this pattern? So just imagine we have this phone and in this phone, so let's imagine you want to create your own modular phone. So let's not uh, let's say you don't want to buy a phone by a company like Samsung or Apple or maybe HTC. You want to build your own phone. And when you talk about your own phone, you, ha you require some configuration, right? You have to specify, maybe you have to specify the RAM size or the RAM memory. You have to specify the processor's company. You have to mention the type of OS. So what we'll do is we'll create those variables here. So we'll say private OS, which will have your data about OS, maybe Android, iOS or Windows. And then we can mention print, we'll say int, uh, private int will say RAM. So how much RAM you have. Then we'll say private uh, string, the company of your processor, maybe uh, Qualcomm, Snap, uh, drag, let's say, yeah, Qualcomm, maybe uh, MediaTek. Then you can have, let's say one more, we'll say what, uh, screen size. And screen size, I want it in double. Okay, so it's, we'll say this is double screen, so we'll say this is screen size, okay. The next thing we require is, let's say, what, what we check? Uh, let's say we, have, we require the battery. So battery will be in format. <clears throat> so battery will, will be in MAH format, right, which is integer. So it may be 3000 mAh, it may be 2300 mAh. So we'll be having diff different types. And to create this object, uh, we, require a con we require a constructor here with all these fields. So we'll say right click. And where's that constructor? So we'll say source, click on constructor. Uh, which is here and we'll select all the variables and click ok so we got the constructor right so in order to create the object of this uh, phone we have to go to shop so let's imagine this is my uh, class where I have to create this phone object so I will say this is phone p equal to what now we have to say uh, new phone right and then we have to pass all the values so we have to specify the uh, the OS type we have to specify the screen size, the battery, RAM, everything, right? So what's the first thing? So you have to go back to your phone, you have to check. What's the first thing we have to mention? That's OS, right? So we, have, we can say this is Android. And the next thing we have to mention is RAM. So let's say this is uh, 2 GB RAM. Then again, you have to, we can also say control space here. And we can check the second thing is processor. So in the double quotes, we can mention this as Qualcomm. <coughs> then the next thing we have to mention is uh, what we have to mention this as uh, screen size so we'll say this is 5.5 inch screen and the battery right so let's say this is 3100 3100 mAh now once we got the object we also want to print it so for that we require a two string method so we'll say two string just to get the data we'll say this is source uh, two string and we'll fetch we'll, we'll try to print everything and here if I go back to my shop I will just print the object and if I run this code and we got the output as the values right so we got OS which is Android then we got the RAM size which is 2 GB then we have company with a uh, processor which is Qualcomm then we have uh, this one the screen size 5.1 5.5 and battery is 3001H right <coughs> but if you observe this pattern or if you observe these two classes we are not using any any pattern yet so if you observe this this class we are passing five five variables inside a constructor right, or five parameters inside a con constructor sometimes it becomes comp it sometimes it becomes complex for you to assign the value and let's say i don't want to specify the ram size i don't want to specify the ram size still we have to specify something right we cannot keep it blank because we have we are we have to pass five parameters so i don't want to pass a value and i don't want to go into that complexity so instead of that we can use build up pattern now how that works so for that let me let me make some changes here <clears throat> so what we'll be using is we'll be we'll be creating one more class which is phone builder who will be responsible for creating that phone for you again uh, it's it's damn simple so what we'll do is we'll take all this all this uh, variables here in this phone builder and with this phone builder what we will do, we'll be doing is we'll try to as we have discussed in the theory so we have we have source and then we'll write We'll take all setters, no getters, only setters. So we'll say all setters and okay. Now the advantage will be, uh, 
instead of void if I mention it as phone builder object at runtime you can specify which parameters you want to set so instead of void everywhere just mention phone builder okay instead of void we'll say this is phone builder phone builder phone builder phone builder which means if you set the value if you set the os as a as the parameter the object it will return is phone builder again how to use that we'll see in, in some time so we'll say this is return this okay because we want to return the object and we're doing the same object here and then this done and done so we are returning this object which is our phone builder here okay now the advantage will be so in this phone builder we have this five uh, variables and then we have setters for that and every setter returns the object of phone builder now in your phone shop uh, we also require one more object here uh, one more method which is which will give you the phone object so we'll say this is public phone and we'll say this is get phone and now the, what this phone will return is will return new phone and will pass this one or not that one will pass new phone and we'll say control space we have to pass all these values right and from where we are getting these values from the from this part now let, let me let me tell you how it works so let me go back to the shop and instead of saying new phone what I will do now is I will say new phone builder so I'm not using new phone I'm using phone builder dot I don't want to set all the values I just want to set the OS so I will say set OS as let's say Android right the next thing we have to specify is the so that's 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 the object you got then again we'll say dot we'll say set uh, let's say RAM 2 GB that's it I don't want to set anything else and at the end of this we have to say get phone so you'll be getting a phone with the which is Android phone with 2 GB RAM and remaining value will be default and if I run this code even if you're not passing all the values, you're, you're, you're specifying Android, you're specifying RAM, you're not specifying the processor, you're not specifying the screen size, you're not specifying the battery. So it will take default values. And let's say I want to specify something now, so we can say dot set battery, which is 3000 mAh. And if I run this code, we got that 3000 mAh there. So it is that flexible. Right, so you can set the number of parameters by yourself and the sequence doesn't matter. You can set the OS first, then you can set the battery, you can set RAM, you can set screen size in any order. So what we are doing, we want a phone, so we are creating object of phone builder, then we are setting the OS, then we are setting the RAM, we are setting the battery and then we are trying to get the phone. So that means we want a phone which is Android, we want a phone which is has two, which has 2GB, we want a phone which has 3000 mAh and then we are, called, we are saying get phone, it will give you that phone. Okay, so how is that possible? Because in phone builder, we are writing this method which is get phone, which gives you the object of phone. Sounds good. So that, that is your builder pattern in creational. So this, this is a part of creational design pattern. So I hope you got the idea. So I will make sure you first watch the theory and then this. And yeah, that's it. That, that's, that's from this video. Thank you so much for watching.